In today's video, we're opening old school vintage OCG packs from the year 2000 to 2004. What is up, everyone? We are continuing the 250,000 subscriber special week. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the video so far. Today, I'm really excited to open up some old school vintage packs, including an OCG Legend of Blue Eyes pack, which came out in the year 2000, two years before the TCG even had a Legend of Blue Eyes, which is kind of crazy. But before we get into it, we're also giving away two OCG packs to you guys, 2,000 Eyes Bible Packs. These could contain the 1,000 Eyes Restrict Ultimate Rare. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know down below what is your favorite card we pulled today. I don't really know like what's in each set because they kind of split them up differently in the OCG. Some are LOB, like, you know, TCG names. Some are completely different sets that we never got. They're kind of split up and they kind of make up the sets we have. I don't know necessarily what's gonna have ultis and not. I think Series 2 has the ultis and Series 1 doesn't, though these are like, the second version of series one. I don't completely know OCG that well, so let's just dive into it and figure it out. This video is sponsored by Ruxin34. <gasps> I have just released my first ever playmat to celebrate 250K. This playmat includes everyone's favorite moth and gives us a glimpse into his story. This story is fan fiction only, so it is not official from Konami. A young moth crawls rapidly through the woods. He knows that time is running out, but he can't miss this moment. At long last, he makes his way out of the underbrush and gets a glimpse into the beautiful night sky. He was just in time. The larger, more experienced moths zoom above him, giving him a few seconds to admire their power and beauty. One day, that will be me. He thought as the last of the larger moths disappeared into the distance. One day, I will be called great. Along with the backstory, these mats come along with a brand new Ruxin 34 logo, which also have a one in 25 chance to be the starlight version. Ooh, ah. And there's a little Easter egg with another channel favorite somewhere on the mat as well. We'll see if you can find it. I think you guys probably can. And yes, the first edition logo on these mats does mean something. These mats will be available on Ruxin34.com and some will be sold on Whatnot as well until the end of October and never again. So get yours now and don't miss the chance to Pequeno on your opponent because I will never be reprinting these mats. And if you only like your play mats where they have the zones on them so you can see where you're placing all your cards, don't worry, both options will be available on Ruxin34.com as well. Thanks to everyone for checking these out. I love the design, shout out to Cross Hearts, and I hope you guys love it as well. Now back to the video. All right, so we are gonna probably start from the back, which is the most recent. I think we're like in the right order ish there i have a list here i'm not sure how accurate it is but this is apparently series three boosters this one is called pharaoh's inheritance this is really small i think that's what this is called so i believe this came out in 2004 so we're looking at very very old school i don't know exactly what we're gonna get per pack i could have tried to look up 20 something different sets and i was like you know what that's that's a lot of research for one pack for each one so let's just kind of go in blind and just see what we can get some of them we have open for like thousand eyes bible and metal raiders and stuff like that so maybe we'll remember a little bit out of those uh, this is not one to rip, so I'm going to try to preserve this pack as much as possible. That actually went pretty well, keeping that thing nice. I'm guessing there's no Patrick here. There's not a lot of guarantee with these old school OCG packs. You can just get no rare, nothing, just common. So let's find out. Some of them can have ulti, some of them won't. Okay, these are like really sticky too. All right, we have the, uh, that's like human wave tactics or something like that. The Oasis card. Some sort of sword card. Well, I think that's second sarcophagus. And what in the world is this? I'm not sure we ever got this card. Look at that little dude. That looks like the goblin calligrapher. Is that the same artwork? I think that's a similar guy. So we're starting it off no foil. But look, out of 28 packs, I really am not expecting much. Because if you guys remember, we opened an entire Thousand Eyes Bible box and got like two or three foils. And that's normal. So it's very, very hard to get foils. Okay, I think this set is called Sanctuary in the Sky, kind of like, you know, the Sanctuary in the Sky card that we got in Ancient Sanctuary. So I'm guessing this has something to do with Ancient Sanctuary, maybe. Let's see if we can recognize any cards. Though that last one also had Ancient Sanctuary cards, the second sarcophagus. So maybe these two sets made up Ancient Sanctuary. That would be pretty cool. Because I think we got Ancient Sanctuary in 2004 as well. So maybe they were kind of aligning a little bit closer by then. Okay, next pack. Whoa, upside down cards. Maybe that could be a good sign. If we could get a foil, it'd be great of any kind. Super rare. Okay, yeah, this is definitely an Ancient Sanctuary card. That's like Ninja May or something. The Disc Magician, I think? Or Disc Fighter or something like that? That card looks familiar, but I'm just not sure we ever got that. The Rocket Jumper and... Oh! <laughs> A secret rare, Mazera Deville. Okay, we are gonna get a foil today. So this is the secret rare in Ancient Sanctuary. 
So pretty cool to get a secret rare out of here as well. That is the secret rare in Ancient Sanctuary, and we got an Ancient Sanctuary original pack that kind of made up that set. Secret rare, that's insane. Parallel secret as well. That is awesome. All right, let's continue it. Uh, this one is, let's see if I can get the name, Invader of Darkness. So it's just named after secret rares, which is interesting. That is the secret rare in Invasion of Chaos. So it looks like you can probably get the Invader of Darkness in here, I would have to guess. Let's see if we can pull another secret. That's pretty amazing. If we get any ulti, it's going to be nuts because the ultis on OCG are some of the best looking cards ever made. So let's hope we can get lucky. I don't care which one it is because they have some weird choices with ultis. Like, I don't care if it's like a weird lame card or if I don't, I, I don't care. Just give us something good. I think that's the Gora Turtle of Illusion. That's a classic invader. Invasion of Chaos, not Invader of Darkness. Torpedo, <laughs> Torpedo Fish. I just had to sneeze for a second there. We had the Blazing and Pachi, pretty classic. You know, I use this in Wield Goat all the time because he's actually pretty decently large. The Smashing Ground, one of the best cards in Invasion of Chaos. And the Thing in the Crater. All right. Uh, yeah, we've seen that guy a few times. Okay, so that was not anything too crazy. This set is something C Commander of Chaos. I don't know what that says. Something of Chaos. It's really small. So I'm guessing this is the other half of Invasion of Chaos. Uh, usually it's two sets that make it up. So let's see if we can get something out of this pack, if I can open it. OCG packs can be difficult, usually opening them from the bottom. They do have pull tabs, but it kind of destroys the pack. So I kind of like opening them like this. So if you want to keep the pack artwork, it can open a little bit better. I kind of damaged that one at the top. That's fine. The top crimp's not that important. You can just fold it down. Okay, Grandmaju Day Isa. This is definitely an Invasion of Chaos uh, pack. Heart of the Underdog. Awesome. Spirit of the Pot of Greed. Remember when uh, the Pot of Greed collection, they had the little spirit guy. It was kind of weird. Fenrir, the original Fenrir, not the crazy one. And the, what is this guy's name? Why do I want to say Granadora? I feel like that's not his name, though. That is somebody else's name, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I think this next set is called Threat of the Dark Demon Word or Wind or something like that. I don't know. I'm guessing Word, but... Yeah, these are really small. I should have. I, I can't really zoom in that well either, but that's fine. Uh, the dark demon something. Threat of the dark demon word is what I'm going to say. Because, you know, threat word. It makes more sense than wind. Okay. Uh, I've never opened any, a lot of these sets. So Ray of Hope is. Okay, where what are we at? Dark Crisis, Invasion of Chaos. Probably Dark Crisis. Yeah, DD Trainer. I think we're at Dark Crisis. Oh, man. Rux is special. Past the other Grand Maju. Uh, not. Is this just regular Grand Maju? Or, or Grand Maju? Garnet or something? What is that card called? Altar for Tribute, I think. The original art that's definitely different than what we got. And an Archfiend's Oath, maybe? I think that's Archfiend's Oath. So, yeah, we're definitely in Dark Crisis. It's cool to see how they like these kind of make these up. Okay, this one's Power of the Guardian. So, is this for on a Guardian or is this the rest of Dark Crisis? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's open it up. Power of the Guardian. Yeah, I didn't skip one, did I? Okay, dang, that's the first one I've ripped down the middle. That's okay. I did, did my best. We have Fairy of... This is definitely Dark Crisis. Fairy of the Spring? No, I'm not sure. Guardian Elma. Yeah, definitely Dark Crisis. Guardian... the, the Something Chaos. I think it's another Chaos card. We have the Acrobat Monkey Tristan Joey reference. Which one is it? Tristan or Joey? I can't remember. And the Despair from the Dark. Isn't that guy where you like... If he gets ripped out of the hand, you special him or something? Something crazy like that. Okay, Champion of Black Magic. This one should be Magician's Force, actually. So, yeah, as you can tell, Breaker on there. Dark Paladin. So, I'm guessing that... Yeah, wait, Dark Paladin has an ulti in this. Oh, this might be the, the ulti Dark Paladin in here, potentially. That would be a massive pull. That would be a massive pull. I would be okay with pulling nothing the rest of the opening if we got that. Wait, didn't we pull that one time? Now that I think about it, we might have opened some of these sets out of that tin when we pulled... No, those Blackluster Soldier, wasn't it? Oh, do we have an upside down card? That was a good sign last time. Well, let's hope that means foil. We have the Remove Brainwashing. We are an MFC. Dark Cat with White Tail. What a name. The Amazonist Spiritualism. Buster... Emblem of the Buster Blader or Emblem something like that. And... Amazon is Tiger. So it is a rare. So was like sort of a foil. It's not a foil, but like in the foil slot, it's not a common. So our first rare is an Amazon is Tiger. It's that hard to get rares, guys. It is really, really difficult. So getting the, anything above that is really, really tough. All right. Advent of Union, I believe, is this set. So I think these will be the Pharaonic Guardian packs right here. PGD, can we pull... Uh, what do we want to get out of PGD? I mean, there's a lot of great cards. Don Zalug is awesome, obviously. I don't wonder what the ulti would be out of here. Was it like Lava Golem or something? Lava Golem, Ring of Destruction is great. 
Uh, we have United Resistance, I believe. There's a lot of different ones of those. Poison of the Old Man. The Kiryu. Pitch Dark Dragon, maybe? And that's definitely a different artwork if we have gotten this card. That is scary. That that, that reminds me of Attack on Titan, that, that creepy skeleton dude. Okay, one more pack in Series 3. So this has all been Series 3 uh, of the OCG. So Series 1 is the very, very beginning, like Volume 1 and stuff like that. So we're only two series after that, so very early. This is called The New Ruler. New Ruler has a good pull in it, because I've heard about this set many times, and I'm trying to think. What was it? Wait. What was in this set? There was something big in this set. Okay, let's just hope we pull it and we can figure it out. Uh, upside down card. That's been a good sign so far to at least be a rare. Metamorphosis. So we are still in Pharaonic Guardian. What could be huge out of Pharaonic Guardian? I guess Ring of Destruction. I don't really know. Okay, let's just keep going. Right, yeah, keep break. Man with Widgeot on that last one. We have Banner of Courage and... The Winged Sage Falco. So it was a rare. So upside down seems like a mini spoiler. Maybe we should... Uh, Maybe we should be careful not to. Maybe we should just not even check if it's upside down next time so we don't spoil it. Okay, we are on to Series 2 reprint booster sets. So I don't really understand the difference between the... I guess they have reprinted like volume already, like this early. This is considered a reprint set. I'm not exactly sure what they mean by that. But we also have the OCG booster sets for Series 2 as well. So we are going to keep going. We start with the Series 1 reprint sets, which apparently Legend of Blue Eyes is one of them. I'm not... I guess they had had those in volume at some point, those cards. Okay, we are not gonna do anything. We're just gonna go straight into it. We have Gora Turtle, no. Gora Turtle Illusions, we already did. This is the, what are we in? L-O-D, L-O-N? So L-O-D, cause Smoker did the Thief, okay. The Legendary Ocean, the Spirit Ryu Dragon, and we have the, the mummy guy the call of the mummy there we go okay so that should mean in theory wait these are reprint sets and are they just gonna be that are all those in lod maybe not i feel like maybe not okay the reprint set i feel like could be a bunch of different stuff but i'm not 100 percent sure what's gonna be in each of these uh but it might have reprinted some of the ones later that will be making up lod all right we have rime 200 damage right to the life points you gotta watch out that's from tournament pack wait oh this is a bunch of tournament pack cards that is i don't know if we ever got this card unless it got an alternate art that's actually really cool the green fish lady okay we definitely got this one goddess of the eye in tp1 and tp5 uh okay made in the moonlight tp2 card and here we go is this tune? This is tune something. This is tune tune terror. Maybe I think might be the name. Okay, that's definitely definitely different different cards there. Okay, dual pack volume three. One foil so far, but it was a secret. So I mean that's not bad. I wasn't expecting too many foils. So if we can just get a couple more, it'd be great. I'm not sure like I mean, even what the ratios are, but I know they are pretty poor compared to what we expect. Which even people think vintage Yu-Gi-Oh like the originals we have are brutal but the ocg are on, on another level it's like really really hard to get get uh pulls in here hysteric fairy okay infinite cards these are lon cards so far kibio drakmord oh that's definitely a different card but i think it's the same thing based on the artwork that dude's on the other one thousand eyes idol it's a pharaoh servant so reprint and magic drain also what set is this is this psv i can't remember okay another uh another no foil that's okay duelist Legacy Volume 2. DL. Are these DL? They're all DL. Okay. DL2 right now. We are still searching for another foil. We've got a secret rare. Sorry, that one opened really well. That was nice. All right. We have... Okay, this is an LOB reprint, or at least our LOB. Uh, and what is his name? His name is like... I can't remember his name, but he's an LOB. He's a common. We have Harpy Lady. That is the original. This is also a Metal Raiders card. Flame Manipulator. The Beast Fang, so it's L-O-B M-R-D on this one, and... Oh. The Two Mouth Dark Ruler, the original print of the Twin Head Thunder Dragon. Okay. Leaving us with one more Series 2 reprint set, the Duelist Legacy Volume 3. It is very fun to get to open these, because I have not... This is like... We've opened a bunch of the English stuff, but I have not opened a ton of the Japanese stuff over the years. So it is really fun to be able to open these up and potentially pull something cool. I've only pulled an OCG ulti like out of a vintage pack one time, and that was for somebody else out of a tin. I opened a Black Luster Soldier, as I mentioned earlier, and that was one of the coolest pulls we've ever had. Okay, Gust. We've got, um, why am I forgetting the name of this? 
This is, isn't this, this is a foil. This is a super rare and magic ruler. Oh, and I can't remember the name. It's like a really good card. No, I can't remember. I've forgotten it. Okay. Snake Fangs. Well, well, I'm sure somebody in the comments will tell me. Oh, the original Sinju art. Oh, wait. Yeah, this is Sinju, not Manju. Okay. Sinju of the, t of the thousand hands, not 10,000. And the appropriate. I can't believe I forgot the best card in here. The, what is this card called? It is called, can't remember. Can't remember, I lost it. All right, continuing on, we are in a series two booster sets, Ferrana Guardian. So I'm guessing this makes up part of Ferrana Guardian as well. I thought we already did that, but maybe there's three sets for Ferrana Guardian? I'm not really sure. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, there must be three sets for Ferrana Guardian or something. Or maybe New Ruler isn't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, Secret Pass to the Treasure right there. That's a dueling spell. Oh, we're on to the really old school look. So it looks like after series two, they stopped doing the super old school. Well, maybe series one had like the square, like the really, really old. These have the smaller text box, that really big artwork, which is cool. Pyramid energy, awesome. The steel scorpion, no, scorpion MK something, I feel like. Giant Axe Mummy. And Molten Behemoth, 2200, but he is a five star, so not exactly great. Okay, Mythological Age is next. Uh, is the... That's a really cool looking pack. It's got a, like a nice silvery look to it. Very cool, Mythological Age. I'm not sure if I've opened this one or not. I think these ones do have ulti chance. Like I'm pretty sure all these sets do right here that we're about to open. The uh, the series one reprint sets, which is the last few we'll open, do not, I don't think. I think they just have parallel secrets. Okay, Bad Reaction Smochi, Bottomless Trap Hole. Odahime, maybe? Alternate art? Because, or at least the original art. We don't have that art. We have the, uh, oh, the spirit guy. He's like Mo Mahagi or something. I don't remember. And Robo Lady, the original. Uh, look, the artwork is huge on here, which is really cool. So much bigger than a normal card for us. Okay. Struggle of Chaos? Wait, this is a real name? Struggle of Chaos. Okay. Struggle of Chaos. Interesting. Never even heard of this one. So that one was definitely L O N, I think. L is uh wait, is Robo Lady L O N or L O D? That should be L O D, I think, based on the pace we're on. I'm not sure. All right, Hunter with seven weapons. Warrior die greffer. The lizard soldier, maybe? Bark of Dark Ruler. Okay, we're still in L, L O D. And because that's fiends. Spirit Ryu, we've already pulled Spirit Ryu in a reprint. Now we have the original print of Spirit Ryu. Next one's Labyrinth of Nightmare. So we're definitely on a Labyrinth of Nightmare. And the next one, by the way, is Spell of Mask, which is the biggest one you can open. Let's open this thing up very carefully. These do not like to be opened uh, without destroying the pack. Very, very carefully. We must very carefully open this thing. I'm trying to keep the pack. It's not working well. It's not working well. Okay, get them out very carefully because they're going to have an ulti in here. For sure, Labyrinth of Nightmare. Uh, let's see. Skull Lair. Soul of Purity and Light. Destruction Punch. The Dark Door. And here we go. Give us something. Oh, yeah. Parallel Secret Rare. Last Warrior from another planet. Check that out. That's an art, not an artwork, but that's a uh, foil style that we didn't get for a really long time. It's very Hobby League-ish with like the, uh, I don't know, like the lamination kind of look. Plus it has the parallel foil going across. That is insane. And one of the coolest cards in Labyrinth of Nightmare for sure. So that is a really sick pull. As soon as I was pulling the card, I was like, wow, that is shiny back there. It's gotta be something. Okay, only our second foil pulled, but a good one. Let's hope that we are on a hot streak because Spell of Mask could contain the ultimate rare Blue Eyes White Dragon. So, probably the biggest card we can pull. For some reason, it's in Spell of Mask around LON. It's not in LOB, you know, like we would think. But the original print actually came in Spell of Mask, which is also the Mask Beast Ultimate Rare uh, set. Uh, <laughs> if we pull Mask Beast Ulti, I'm not sure how I would feel. I'd be pumped, and then I'd be like, wait, could have been blue eyes. <laughs> could have been blue eyes. So if we do get one of those, it could be pretty insane. So those are pretty expensive packs of Spell of Mask. <sighs> okay, Milk of the Four-Faced Beast. Let's pull it. Maiden. The Forgiving Maiden. This is the different artwork that we did not get. You can use this on Dueling Book, though. Swordsman of Landstar, Joey Wheeler. Gadget, gadget, gadget guy, the gadget soldier, I think. And here we go. Ultimate Rare, maybe. 
Oh, okay. Scroll of Bewitchment. All right, we tried. One day we'll pull that ultimate rare blue eyes. It's going to happen at some point. I don't even really have to look over there anymore because these have the names. Thousand Eyes Bible. Look, I will settle for the Thousand Eyes Restrict ulti. I would not be mad at that at all. This set is a makeup of, as you guessed it, Pharaoh Servant. I think Jinzo is in the other one, though. I think it's the next one is the one you can get Jinzo. Okay, Island Turtle. We've got Hayabusa Knight. Okay, come on. Come on, cards. Spike Bot. Got to pull these a little differently. They don't really slide. Cold Wave, a classic old school card. Ultimate rare, purple. See a little fusion? Or we can get the Overdrive. Just a common. All right. So, by the way, we've only gotten two regular rares and two foils. So those are pretty brutal. The second half of Pharaoh Servant is Curse of Anubis. Let's see what we... Wait, that's not right. Because Pharaoh Servant is after this. Maybe this is something else. Okay, I'm not sure how this works exactly, because Pharaoh Servant is the next set. It's called Pharaoh Servant, so I don't know if they have three sets or what, but we'll try to figure it out. Oh, man, I destroyed that one. Rip. Literally. Okay. The Light of Intervention, I believe. Regulation of the Tribe. Darkfire Soldier number two, I think. That's number two. Respect play. And... Oh, a super rare mirror wall. So this is definitely part of Pharaoh's Servant. So this might be three sets put together to make Pharaoh's Servant. The mirror wall. That is really, really awesome. Check that thing out. Super rare mirror wall. Beautiful looking card. And the huge artwork makes it even cooler. All right, Pharaoh Servant. I guess there's three sets that make this up, so I'm not 100% sure what's going on here. But uh, I don't know which one has Jinzo, actually. Surely one of them does, right? All right, uh, maybe it could be this one. I oh man, we just destroyed that pack. That's all right. That's all right. Okay, uh, Sonic. No, oh, this is Magic Ruler. Well, oh, I think I remember this. That's a Magic Ruler card. Luminous Spark, I think. Labyrinth, Labyrinth, something, something about the Labyrinth. House of Adhesive Tape. This is more Magic Ruler than it. Yeah. Hungry Burger has been pulled. Amazing. The Hungry Burger makes an appearance. Okay, and here's Magic Ruler. So Magic Ruler and Pharaoh Servant actually make a Magic Ruler. This is ringing a bell now, now that I, I feel like when I did an OCG opening before, we figured that out. Kind of interesting how that works out. They made two different sets out of two sets that make up one set. Very weird. Okay, Weather Report. Here we go. Oh, Amoeba. Drop that card. The Whiptail Crow. Peacock. Little NBC action. And... The Delinquent Duo is a common in this. That is absurd. Delinquent Duo common. Okay. We're on to... This is called the Series 1 Reprint Booster Sets. There's only five of these. We do not have the Volume 1 through 7 because those are, like, ridiculous to find. But hopefully at some point we can open the Volume volume Packs. So I guess these are reprints of those. I guess. So these are super, super old as well. These are actually some of the older ones. Okay, that this pack is getting decimated. All right, Spirit of the Books, Tiger Axe, Hercules Beetle, the Wicked Worm Beast, and the, the something about Aqua, I think, maybe? I can't remember on that one. All right, Metal Raiders, which is actually, funny enough, a reprint set. And I think it actually changes, like, what kind of box they're in. Like, they had those tall boxes when we did this opening. It kind of looked like Korean boxes. And that they're not a reprint set, they're in, like, the flat boxes, kind of like regular booster boxes you would think of. Which is pretty cool. A little bit easier way to figure it out if you see a box, which there are not too many boxes out there these days. Heavy Storm, great card, just a common. Punished Eagle, same rarity, pretty wild, because one's terrible, one's not. Share the pain. Dark Elf, and here we go. The he Hoshingen, the Star Boy. Okay. Not the actual Starboy, because that's the the uh, the water one. All right, we are on to Revival of Black Demon's Dragon. I think this one has Black Skull in it. So Metal Raiders looks, you know, some Metal Raiders stuff going on. The Revival of the Black Demon's Dragon. Let's see if we can pull the Black Demon's Dragon. All right. Oh, ho, 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 and we're off to an amazing start. The Pequeno Moth out of Revival of Black Demon's Dragon. What an amazing pull. Best pull yet. The Queen's Double. Try to use that in Wheel Goat the other day. Go check that out. The Electric Lizard. Deep Sea Shark, I believe. And Pale Beast Rucks in 34. Wow. Wow. That is pretty crazy if you think about it. Pale Beast Rucks in 34. Pequeno Moth, both in the original pack. We're definitely putting those to the side. Two of our best pulls. Okay. Phantom God, two packs left. What will we pull? What's on the, what's on the artwork here? Exodia. Exodia is in here? Is this the ulti Exodia? I think it is. Potentially. This pack is opening really easily. Pretty unusual for these. All right, that opened really cleanly. Will we be able to pull 
a big card. Yeah, LOB for sure. We have Giant Soldier of Stone. Dark World Thorns. The Mega... Mega Sonic Eye? No, or is this just Big... Big Eye? I can't remember. Okay, Terror of the Terrible and... The Flower Wolf. The Wolf of Flowers. Okay. No Exodia that time. Leaving us with one final pack. If you guys have enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to do that. Also, if you haven't watched the other videos from 250k, go check out the other videos for the last few days. Also, we have more coming up after this, so keep an eye out this week. Make sure you guys... Oh, wait, I didn't even mention the week-long giveaway. I'll mention it at the end. We are giving away the Stark Magician Girl. If you want to enter into this giveaway, which some people didn't listen to the announcement video and they've been commenting on videos from last week, which doesn't enter you into this giveaway. But this giveaway is this week starting the 29th all the way to the every pack opening you guys can get in on the dark magician girl just make sure you let me know in the comments i will be picking one comment from this entire week all right legend of blue eyes can we pull something from an original lob pack i'm assuming there's something big in here right i don't i don't know what it would be though there's there's just yugi on the front they don't have any like actual cards silver fang come on give us another big pull we've pulled two pretty nice foils i can't complain let's try to add, make a third right here mystical sheep i think number two flame ghost Dissolve Rock, and before we end this, let me know in the comments. Do you want to see more OCG vintage openings? I'll try to see if I can find more packs. If you do, here we go. The Ryukishin Powered, I believe. So not anything too crazy, but overall, I can't be mad at pulling a Parallel Secret Rare and a Secret Rare out of OCG packs. Let's see what we can pull coming up the rest of the week. Shout out to Tone Info Show, Ernesto Deanda, America Deutscher, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., and Changalang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time.